Well, you sent us one. I wish we'd sent us more. He asked a question. I recently got a new computer with a DVD drive running Windows 2000. But when I try to play a DVD movie, an error message pops up. It says I need a DVD decoder. What's that? And what are my options? Well, you know what? Just because you got a DVD drive doesn't mean you can watch DVD videos or DVD movies. You want to? We got a DVD on? drive. We got a DVD drive, and, and we got know, a movie in there. That means you can read the disc. You can the read a DVD disc. Fabulous Caddyshack. Hey, you know what? I'm into the American classics. It's up there. 20th anniversary edition, baby. You know, practically Orson Welles quality. But you know what? The, just because you have a DVD drive doesn't mean you now, can play DVD. Don't movies. most of them come with DVD player software? We can only hope. Some of the cheap ones don't. May not. When you buy one, you want to make sure it's either a bundled with DVD decoder software, or B, comes with a DVD decoder. Now, what's the difference between a DVD decoder and a DVD player? Oh, boy. <laughs> a DVD decoder is what takes the MPEG-2 encoded video on your system and allows you to, uh, you know. It decodes the MPEG, right. the compressed video. Exactly. Now, it may be embedded in the player. In this case, it is. It's a WinDVD. Actually, whether, whether you're talking about a hardware or a software player, they're different. There's always a decoder of some kind. Right. Whether it's implemented completely in software or uses some kind of hardware and software. So we'll always use a WinDVD as a, win, as a mm -hmm. player. If we don't have hardware decoding built in, it will use its own built-in software decoding. Exactly. Exactly. Why would I? Ch so I guess the question is that he can download Win DVD and it's yes. shareware. You can pay for. It. Why would I? No, it's actually it's a you, it's a commercial product. Yeah. Okay, you it's have to product. pay for it. There's no try before you buy. Well, you can try, but you know, it won't work. <laughs> not for a long time. Yeah. So. Uh, why would I choose a software decoder versus a hardware? Well, decoder? one thing is, is this takes up a PCI slot, or in this case, it's a it's a it's a graphics card that also does uh, the graphics card that actually also does. Actually, wasn't really ready to go to that, but <laughs> there it is. We have here is the ATI Allen Wonder, which is one of the best DVD hardware decoders that's implemented into a 3D graphics card. So the card comes with a Radeon yeah. chip that has a, a decoding. Yeah. Well, actually, the biggest. Let me take a step back and yeah. get back where we should have been. You can do it all in software if you have enough processor power. If you got a 500 megahertz. Pentium 2 or faster, you probably can do it completely using the main CPU on your system. But because it's so processor intensive to decode MPEG2 right. streams, it might not succeed with a slower processor. What are symptoms of bad uh, decoding? Well, if you look at something, if, there's, if the video gets all herky and jerky. Should we play uh, Caddyshack? Oh, we should play Caddyshack. Right. Just don't tell Paul he gets upset with the lawyers and all. Yeah. Herky and jerky video. That's uh, my choice. If, if, the, if the frame literally stops on the screen and holds for a few seconds and then skips forward, if you have big, fuzzy, washed out areas in the middle of the video, if the, the talk, you like to do this. If it's whole like thing. a bad Japanese movie where, you know, the, 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 everything's out of sync, so they're talking you like this. My father. Prepare to die. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that actually causes it. Then you definitely want to spring the extra cash. Hardware decoders that are like a PCI, there's, along with the ability to basically taking that load off your processor, you can actually run it on as, as uh, an old Pentium system. Um, the other thing they offer that your video card may or may not have is an actual S video output that you can connect to a regular television. Okay. That's one of the big That's kind of handy. Software, your, your, yeah. your computer probably doesn't have television out. But if you have a decoder hardware card, it will, you can then get the playback into a TV. So this exactly. becomes your DVD player, in effect. In fact. Uh, hooked up to your video And system. it can do, you know, all sorts of other stuff. But basically, if you've got a fast enough system, you can do it all in software. If you have a slower system, it'll probably be to your advantage to use either an AGP card. And not all 3D graphics cards do a real job. Every 3D graphics card claims uh, the, the folks, I can't think of the name of them now, 3D effects, so soon we forget. They claim to have DVD uh, acceleration. They were basically lying. <laughs> Um, so be careful what you buy. ATI Radeon. Radeon does a good. good job, though. Yeah, and yeah. we actually have a list of uh, software and hardware decoders you can go to on the side.